Hello, my name is Susan Graham, and I'm going to talk today about the role a small estate affidavit has in estate planning. I want to let you know briefly about my business. It's called Senior Edge Legal, and we represent people who are retired or anticipating retirement. And the purpose for our representing them is to help protect their assets, their independence, and their families for the rest of their life and after they're gone. When we talk about a small estate affidavit, it has a place in modest estates. I'll tell you about my neighbor, George, lovely man who lived in an apartment a block away. He would mow my lawn and he would shovel my snow in the winter and he trimmed my bushes. Just a lovely man. He was single and he was in his mid fifties, had no children. His sister, Lisa, called me up and told me last week that George had been gone for two months. I wondered where he was and why he hadn't answered my calls. She was concerned because she didn't know what to do, how to terminate his lease, and then what to do about selling his car and how to access his bank account that had about 40000 in it. I explained to her this was going to be easy. All she needed to do was sign a small estate affidavit. And those forms are available at no cost on the Idaho Legal Aid website. <clears throat> what it is, it's a, it's a document that she signs. It says, George has been gone more than 30 days. The total value of his estate is less than $100,000. And she is not going to probate his estate. Then she needs to attach a certified copy of his death certificate to that and list in that affidavit the property that he owns. So she would list the VIN number for his vehicle. And she would list the bank name and the bank account number. All she needs to do then is take it down to the bank and they'll transfer the money to her. She just says in that affidavit that she's an interested person, that she's entitled to the property. And then she'll do the same with the Department of Vehicles, have the car changed into her name. Then all she needs to do is sign the title, the, the new title and sell that car. So that gives her the position, the ability to gather up his assets, transfer them into her name, pay his bills, and they'll ultimately distribute the assets out where they need to go. It's a real simple process for winding up the affairs for someone who has a modest estate and has no real property and the total value of their assets exceed or, or less than $100,000. So this is a tool for many people. And I want you to know how you can access that here in Idaho. If you would like to talk with me about your estate plan, please call my office, it's 208-344-0375. And you'll speak with someone to see if we're a potentially good fit and possibly can go forward working together. Thank you for listening to this video.